I think Optimus will ultimately be the most valuable part, and I think it has a good chance of being the most valuable product. Ever. What if the world's most valuable product ends up being a $10,000 robot? Elon Musk just made a bold claim. Tesla Optimus, the humanoid robot capable of walking, working, and even learning autonomously, could cost as little as $10,000 by 2026. That's less than many iPhones over their lifetime. And this isn't just a flashy tech demo, it's a serious step forward. Optimus has already demonstrated its ability to operate independently in harsh environments, including disaster zones and areas affected by disease outbreaks. It's expected to play a critical role in Tesla's ambitious rollout of millions of cyber cabs from Giga Texas. But what advancements made this possible? Can a $10,000 robot really handle everything from household chores and factory labor to dangerous rescue operations? Welcome to Next Gen Theories. Let's break down what the Teslabot Gen 3 can and can't do. You've likely seen the polished demo videos, Optimus gliding across a factory floor, folding laundry, catching a tennis ball with surprising ease. But beyond the slick marketing, the question remains, will it actually solve real world problems? Gen 3 is Tesla's push to turn uncertainty into confidence. Start with mobility, specifically the classic staircase problem. If you've ever lugged a laundry basket up narrow stairs or have an aging parent dealing with mobility issues, you know how critical safe descent is. Gen 2 of the robot could manage flat surfaces at five kilometers per hour and hop a curb, but stairs going down still posed a challenge. Gen 3 changes the game with redesigned ankle mechanics a new descent control system, and a high-frequency data stream from its inertial measurement unit feeding a balance model every four milliseconds. The result? It moves fluidly, treating stairs like part of a dance routine. By late 2025, this upgrade will be standard on every unit, removing the fear of a 200-pound robot stuck upstairs. Now consider the hands. 11 degrees of freedom and fingertip sensors in earlier models could lift boxes but lacked the finesse to detect, say, the slippery skin of a wet tomato. Gen 3 doubles the joints, boosts tactile sensitivity threefold, and adds temperature and soft collision sensors. The real issue isn't power, it's trust. If a robot is going to rinse your vegetables, you care more about bacterial risk than cinematic action. Fingers that can detect a subtle shift in water temperature or the give of bruised fruit help build that trust and allow people to feel safe letting the robot near their kitchen. And when it comes to elder care, the stakes are even higher. Tesla is targeting 2026 for pilot programs and 2027 for wider commercial availability. That might seem slow, but it's intentional. Caring for aging adults isn't about gimmicks. It's about reliability and safety. The robot needs to handle slippery bathroom floors, detect a stumble instantly, and summon help before an injury becomes life-threatening. Gen 3's IP54 rating keeps it safe from steam and splashes, while its fall detection system monitors tiny movements in both human and robot bodies, deciding in under 200 milliseconds whether to brace, lift, or call emergency services. Some might balk at a $15,000 to $20,000 price tag, but Tesla aims to ease the cost burden with a $499 monthly lease that includes service plus a $1,200 battery replacement every four years. Still, pricing remains volatile. A change in rare earth exports from China could spike costs overnight. Tesla mitigates this with a switch to ferret magnets. Bulkier, yes, but sourced in North America. This stabilizes costs and turns a potential global supply chain crisis into a manageable logistics issue. Security also matters. The idea of a hacked household robot is terrifying. That's why Gen 3 uses a secure firmware system that rejects unauthorized updates. It has a sentry mode that locks joints, blares an 80 decibel alarm, and streams GPS data if stolen. Its aluminum frame even acts as a Faraday cage shielding against typical electromagnetic interference, though no one expects it to survive a full-scale EMP attack. Still, this leap from basic to layered hardware-based security is significant enough that some insurers already plan to offer home policy add-ons for about $20 a month. Then there's the real-world test. Dust, rain, and brutal winters. 
Suburban homes and rural farms don't care about Silicon Valley hype. They care about function. Gen 3's outer shell can handle light rain. Its battery heats itself to survive minus 10 degrees Celsius. And by 2027, it'll have terrain kits with rubberized boots for uneven surfaces like barnyards. The real bottleneck in rural areas? Service access. Tesla's solution is a service van visiting every two months and remote diagnostics via Starlink connections. It's not perfect, but far better than shipping your bot to California for repairs. Critics argue humanoid robots could eliminate 5% of repetitive manual jobs. But experts also predict they'll create around 3 million new roles, jobs we haven't imagined yet. Think about it. In 2007, app developer sounded fringe. As always, the real pain lies in the transition, not the destination. To ease this, Tesla has pledged free retraining for any warehouse worker displaced by its own robots. It might be self-interest disguised as altruism, but it's still a lifeline. Tesla's Gen 3 Optimus robot speeds up a major shift in labor, not just because it exists, but because it's the first version that can stack crates and thread a wire harness. This means entire categories of physical work are transitioning from manual labor to supervision. Whether that excites or unsettles you probably depends on how close you are to retirement. So, what makes the Tesla Bot Gen 3 truly different? The answer is simple. Real-world utility at scale. Most robots today are clunky prototypes or lab-bound experiments. But Tesla's Optimus isn't being programmed line by line. It's being trained to perform useful tasks in both homes and factories. This is what Tesla refers to as real-world AI. Tesla's edge in real-world AI comes from its cars. Everything they've learned about autonomy, batteries, electric motors, power electronics, and structural design is being applied to Optimus. On top of that, Tesla's expertise in large-scale manufacturing gives it a unique advantage. Faster development, lower production costs, and the ability to scale quickly. As a result, Optimus is already capable of handling a growing list of practical tasks. It can receive and inspect packages, fold clothes, serve drinks, charge your Tesla, clean the kitchen, water your plants, carry heavy items, play games with your kids, dance, and even answer your midnight questions. And that's just the beginning. In Tesla's 2024 demonstration, the second generation Optimus performed these tasks confidently and without human control. It wasn't just mimicking, it was interpreting its surroundings and responding accordingly. Elon Musk even joked that producing 5,000 robots is about the size of a Roman legion. And that's not a random number. He believes Tesla could build one full legion this year and up to 10 next year. Where are these robots going? While the long-term vision includes home use, the initial rollout is focused on Tesla's own factories, especially the new Cybercab production line at Giga Texas. There, Optimus will take over tasks from two or three human workers in certain areas, improving consistency, speed, and accuracy. This isn't theoretical. It's already happening. Tesla plans to build 5,000 Optimus units in 2025, scaling up to 50,000 in 2026. At an internal event, Elon Musk even said the goal is to eventually reach car production speeds so fast that a vehicle could be completed every five seconds. That kind of pace is only possible with intelligent robots working alongside traditional machines. This push for hyper-fast, efficient manufacturing aligns perfectly with the simplified design of the Cybercab, which has fewer than 80 structural components, down from over 200 in the Model Y. With fewer parts to assemble and smarter robots to handle the work, Tesla is aiming for a leap in production speed without sacrificing quality. Tesla isn't alone in this race. Chinese EV maker NIO has already introduced humanoid robots for tasks like component installation and visual inspections. But what sets Tesla apart is its fully integrated production system and a robot that runs on the same advanced AI that powers its self-driving cars. So what makes the Tesla Bot Gen 3 smarter than the competition? A few years ago, the idea of humanoid robots was mostly laughed off. They were too slow, too expensive, or simply impractical. And honestly, those criticisms were valid at the time. But the landscape has changed dramatically in just two years. 
Tesla's Optimus isn't just another high-tech gadget. It's becoming a learning machine that adapts and evolves. What sets it apart is its ability to improve with experience. Instead of needing new code for every task, Optimus can learn by watching. Elon Musk has confirmed that it can watch a video of a person performing a task and then attempt to replicate it. Imagine showing it a video of someone cooking. It won't get everything right the first time, but it will keep practicing until it figures it out. Same with folding laundry, watering plants, or even wiping down a table. It's not magic, it's deep learning through trial and error. And yes, it'll have a few bugs along the way, but it's already impressive enough that you'll probably want to invite your friends over just to see it in action. The most revolutionary part? Optimus gets better on its own. When it's first deployed, the robot starts as a blank slate. Engineers remotely operate it during tasks while it collects detailed data. Over time, it starts doing those tasks independently, getting more accurate with each attempt. Take something as basic as washing dishes. At first, Optimus might drop plates, scrub too hard, or skip drying them. But day by day, it learns, refines its movements, and eventually gets the job done right. That's the real promise of this robot, not just that it can work, but that it can learn how to work and keep improving long after it's left the factory. This learning approach is directly inspired by how humans grow and improve. We try, fail, learn, and eventually master new skills. That's exactly why the Optimus robot holds so much promise. It doesn't rely on rigid programming to adapt to new environments or tasks. Instead, it learns through repetition and experience. Tesla's Optimus isn't just a breakthrough in robotics. It represents humanity's drive to overcome physical limitations and improve our quality of life. Of course, it's not perfect. Mistakes will happen. One of the common challenges is misinterpreting spoken commands. You might ask it to bring you food, and it could show up with an empty plate. Other issues, like navigating complex environments, handling stairs, or software glitches, are part of the process. But Tesla is actively addressing these problems. Regular software updates and built-in self-correction features help the robot adapt over time. One great example. During a live demo, Optimus dropped a battery cell. But instead of freezing or waiting for help, it calmly reorganized the tray on its own. That moment wasn't pre-planned. It was real-world AI in action. The real impact of Optimus goes beyond cutting-edge tech or its ability to operate for 10 hours after just 10 minutes of charging. What truly sets it apart is its accessibility. So, why is Tesla's Optimus potentially the most important product ever? Elon Musk has made it clear. He believes Optimus could become the biggest product in human history. Not just bigger than anything Tesla's ever built, but 10 times bigger than the next biggest product from any company. And when Musk says something like that, he's not trying to stir up hype. He means it. According to him, Optimus could generate more revenue than any Tesla vehicle, surpassing even the Model 3, Cybertruck, and Roadster combined. The most astonishing part? This isn't some ultra-expensive prototype that'll stay locked away in a lab. Elon is talking about a humanoid robot that people may actually be able to buy for $20,000, or even $10,000. It sounds unbelievable, but if Tesla makes it happen, it won't just shake up the tech industry. It could transform everyday life. Just imagine a robot that walks like a person, looks human, and can actually do useful tasks in your home. We're talking about folding laundry, cleaning up the kitchen, watering plants, playing with your kids, or charging your EV, all autonomously. And it doesn't quit after one job. It can keep going for eight to 10 hours straight. When it's low on energy, it simply plugs itself in to recharge. That alone sounds like science fiction, but it's exactly what Tesla's working toward. And the vision extends far beyond household chores. Elon Musk wants Optimus to be useful, not just at home, but also in factories, hospitals, and disaster zones. That's the long-term mission. Of course, building a robot like that and keeping it affordable is a huge challenge. Most humanoid robots today cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and still stumble around like clumsy toddlers. But Tesla is doing things differently. Instead of starting from scratch, 
Tesla is repurposing the same motors, batteries and electronics it already manufactures for its vehicles. That's a huge advantage. Tesla has already mastered fast, cost-effective, large-scale production. And now, Optimus is reaping the benefits. Even the robot's physical design has evolved. In the Gen 3 version, Tesla replaced the older battery system with its 4680 battery pack, the same one used in its electric cars. This made Optimus about 22 pounds lighter, more balanced, and significantly more efficient. No more bulky backpack. The new battery is integrated right into the torso, making the robot look and feel more human than machine. So here's the big question. If Tesla really does launch Optimus for $10,000 to $20,000 in 2026, would you be first in line? Or would you wait and see how it performs in the real world before bringing one home? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. We'd love to know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper into Tesla's EVs or the incredible future of the Tesla bot, be sure to hit the like button and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Next Gen Theories and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest updates. We appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.